Hello? Hi. Hey, Alex. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Ready? Yes. Okay, great. I turned the video recording on so I can send you a video of the session later on so you can review it. Okay? All right, thank you. And also, uh, everything I'll write on this electronic board, I'll, I just made a web page out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I put the link of the web page on the chat. If you click the chat thing on the top, yeah. Yeah. You see the link. You can you can bookmark it because everything we write in the feature and, and on the board, you'll have a copy of it. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to copy anything. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you want to feel like copying it. So, um, okay. Right. So let's see. Let's start. Do you have any specific question for me from the book? Mm, no, not really. I just have homework. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me just open the book. Um, uh, Howard Antons was my first calculus book too, long time ago. <laughs> so. Sometimes um, the answers are only for the odds. So, so some of so some of the answers I just don't even. So I don't know some of them. Or okay, wait, what was the question? Or, Okay, let me see. Um, that's um, Hey. hey, sorry. Hey, uh, okay. okay, I still have the tenth edition of the book, the newer one. Uh, okay. So uh, let's see, what chapter do you have? So I have so um, chapter seven, uh, uh, seven point eight. Okay. Chapter seven point eight. Is this about integration? Yeah. Is the first question like dx over x minus 3, that one? Yes. Question number one, is that the one? I mean, I just want to make sure because it's a different edition. I want to just make sure the books, you know? Different question. You mean, <clears throat> you mean the exercise set or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exercise, yeah. So for, for me, the first question is um, the integral for pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 cotangent x dx. Oh. 
for seven point eight. Seven point eight? Huh. I don't have to have a different question. For yeah. Well, okay. Well Okay. Okay, let me check something. I have the uh who are the other authors? And Howard Anson and who else? Earl Earl Bivens and Stephen Davis. Okay, yeah, that should that should be the same book. Yeah. So I have the tenth edition and I uh Well I think well okay. So wait, so anyway, for question ten these that's what I need to because that's that was the question assigned. Okay. Um is 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 yours the same? Is it like um the integral between negative infinity and three dx over x squared plus nine. Okay, let me see. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Remember that question is the same. Chapter seven point eight, question number ten, right? Yeah. I have x squared plus 9 as the denominator. Is that the one you have? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Then maybe the question number one was different. It should be like this, 3, yeah. negative infinity. Okay, cool. Yeah, so exactly. I have a, okay, usually yeah. the 10th edition have should have like a few more questions than the 9th edition, ninth edition. So, I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have all your questions. It's just maybe in different numbers. Okay. Okay, so here what you do is, you need to, um, that x squared plus 9, you got to treat that 9 as a 3. So it should be. Mm -hmm. so the, uh, the integration of that should be 1 third. Okay. 10, negative 1, x over 3. Okay? Yeah. That should be. When you do that, you should have. Um, should be between three and b. One limit, a certain limit. Oh yeah. Um, that b is going to negative infinity. All right. So at this point, again, I have the video, so you can watch the video in case you get the stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, then you have limit. B is going to negative infinity. We have one third, and you should have ten three over three minus one third ten to the negative one b over three. Okay, that should be right. equal to. You with me so far? Yeah, and yeah, I got it. Yeah. So that should be one third ten to the negative one. 1 minus 1 third 10 to the negative. That should be basically going toward infinity anyway. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, when we do that, this first part becomes one third. So when is ten negative one uh, uh, ten to the negative one equal to uh, of a, so ten to the theta is one forty five degrees. So that's like pi over four. Yeah. That's the first one. And this one. And when is it basically zero? It goes towards zero when uh, it's about ninety degree, right? Over three, negative ninety degree. So negative now. B goes to infinity, so the negative. It goes actually, sorry, it's going to infinity, so it should be negative 90 degrees. Okay, that should yeah. be negative pi over two. So when we do that, we have pi over 12 plus pi over six. Okay, so that should be three pi over 12, which is pi over four. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That should be the answer. Did you get that? Yeah. It definitely converges, right? Converges yeah. to pi over 4. That's it. Converges. Cool. 
All right. Yeah. Uh, what's the next question? That's difficult. Yeah. The next one is 18. 18. So for me, it's dx. I mean, the denominator is root as uh, root cube. Cube root. Cube root. Okay. Yeah, that's the same. Same. Same question. Perfect. Yeah. They usually change very little of the book, you know, change the addition to sell more books. You know? yeah. The books yeah. are pretty much the same. So yeah. Eight and zero. It's like zero, eight, h to the negative one third dx. So that's kind of easy. So all you do is add one, so x to the one, x to the two third. Divide by two third. Yeah. That should be from eight to zero, right? And you want to check it for the positive side. Well, it doesn't even matter, you know. It doesn't even have to be the positive side. Okay. All right, because it goes away anyway. So you have basically eight to the two third divided by two third minus zero to the two third. Divide by two thirds, right? So that turns out to be yeah. first one is three over two. Cube root is two square, right? That's just six. Easy, really easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's what I got also. Okay. okay. So for the next one is twenty-five. So for twenty-five, minus the denominator for minus. X minus two. Okay. Okay, twenty five. The X minus two is the denominator. So when you do that you have this is a discon discontinuity at X minus two. Okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, not, I'm an x equals to two. X equals to two. So you want to break it into two parts, okay? When you break it into two parts, you have zero to two, you have something. Okay. X oh, minus yeah. The, uh, <laughs> negative one dx. Let me just select it like this dx. Plus two to three, you have a different one. One over mm -hmm. x minus two dx, right? So at this point, when you integrate it, it becomes, nat becomes natural log. Natural log of x minus 2. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you are checking this from the left side because it's coming from the left side. So you can say that limit b is going to 2 from the left side, and you're looking for 0 to 2 to the left side. Or 0 to b, I mean, to the left side. Plus, for the other one, you're going to look at it from the right side. Okay? b is going to 2 from mm -hmm. the right side. Make sense? You see the point? Yeah. Okay, so x minus 2. Now we're looking at b to 3. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, what do we have here? Let's break it. b is going to 2 from the negative side. Minus ln of okay. Now the other part is to add the other part. Limit b is going to two from the positive side. You have so log of x minus two, which is actually equal to three. Three minus two minus natural log of. You don't want to call it B, let's call it you know, something else, let's call it D or something. Mm -hmm. Different, 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 uh, what you call it. Let's call it, this is going to be D. This is the D also. Measure log of uh, D minus 2. Okay. So, you with me so far? Yeah. Okay. So, 
I have limit is going to two from the negative side. I shall log off. Are you in eleventh uh, grade or twelfth grade? I'm in twelfth grade. Okay. I shall log off two. Have you heard from colleges yet? Yeah, I'm I'm attending Stony Brook University next year. What what university? Stony Brook University. Okay, great. It's a beautiful campus. Yeah. The is going to two plus and you have that's natural log of one, so that's like zero, you know? Minus natural log of D minus two. Okay. Wait, I have a question. Or, Go ahead. I have a question. Wait, so, oh. Actually, never mind, I understand now. <laughs> I, never mind about it. So at this point, we can see that this first one is really going toward negative infinity, you know? This one is it's a number. This one is nothing, you know? This one is going toward positive infinity. So we really cannot tell, right? So it has to be diverging because of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So the next problem is 38. Thirty-eight? Yeah. So for me, the denominator is root x times x plus four. We need U substitution. Okay, so you'll have U equals to square root of X. X plus four must be U squared plus four, right? So if X is infinity, mm -hmm. U will be infinity, so you're gonna put that rather as infinity. If X is twelve, U is gonna be the root of 12, right? Right. Yeah, okay, so there should be square root of 12. So I'm going to change. What is dx? You've got to find dx also. So du dx is going to be 1 half x to the negative half, right? Right. Okay, so... Oh, it kind of works out well. So you can see that dx will be, um, the du dx is, can you see the right side of the page? Is your screen big enough to see the right yeah, side? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, cool. The so one over two, the root of x. So you can see if you cross multiply, dx mm -hmm. is really equal to two times root x times du. So what I will do is, I'm going to replace that dx with two times root x times du, and I can see that that square root of x at the bottom kind of cancels out, so I'll leave it like that. I'm going to change this x plus 4 to oh, square okay. plus 4, okay? So I'll just trick it, you know, I won't, because it cancels out anyway, so I'll just leave it like that, you know? Yeah. So, okay, so that's gone. So now I have only u, so I don't have to worry about x at all, okay? Yeah. 12, and this one turns out to be, I'll take the 2 out also, mm -hmm. 1 over u squared plus 4 du. Make sense? Yeah, and then you can do um, 
Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Okay. What is that? U two two U four four. You can write as two square. So you can use the tan negative one thing. You know. Yeah. So when you integrate that, that turns out to be do this in infinity. What I'll do is I'll leave the two outside. I'll set limit. Okay, limit b is going to infinity, and I will have one half tangent to the negative one u over two. And then I have the b on top. I'll have square root of twelve at the bottom. Okay. So at this point, what do I do? Okay, I'll have to put this back in there now. What do I square root of 12? Square root of 12 is actually 2 root 3, so I'll leave it like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put it back in there. It goes to 2 limit. B is going to infinity. And half, I'm going to take up the half out too. You know, why not? Mm -hmm. That cancels out. So I'll just have basically. 10 to the negative 1, b over 2, minus 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3 over 2, 2 and 2 cancels, okay? So, I already know that right part is going to be 10 to negative 3, so negative 3 happens on a 60 degree, which is like pi over 3, okay? So that part is done. Mm -hmm. On the left side, when does it go toward infinity? It goes toward infinity when? Pi over two. Yeah, pi over two, right? So I have pi over two times, so when you subtract it, it's pi over six, so it converges. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay? Mm. Wait, give me a second, please. <laughs> Wait, when did you take out the a half? <laughs> which sorry, which one? Like, like each we took out two and then we took out a half, so the two two times a half is like they cancel out, right? Oh, why did I take it out? Because I saw I had a half, I had a half oh. inside, so I just we started going to interact with that variable, so I just took it out, so the two cancel. They cancel each other. Okay. 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 Thank you. <clears throat> What's the next one? The next one is. The next one is 47. Is that the one X natural log, uh, natural log of X? That's it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I think. I see. I think I got an idea. Okay. Let's see. So when you integrate it, integration becomes x natural log of x minus x. Yeah. Integration of natural log. Of x. So that should be one to zero. So if you plug in those values now. You have natural log of x, 1 over x, minus x. So if you put, take that as a denominator on the right side, that turns out to be, uh, that just becomes 1. So you have 
natural log of x minus 1 divided by 1 over x. And all that turns out to be 1 and 0. Okay. Yeah, both goes to infinity there, so that's a problem, you know. So yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to. I, got, um, yeah, I have to use the Lapidus rule, you know. Mm -hmm. The numerator and denominator go to infinity. Use. So when I use the Laplace rule, at the top is just one over x minus zero. The bottom is negative one over x squared. Okay, it turns out to be one zero. Negative one, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That should be the answer. Except so that was negative. So how do you took the derivative? Uh, what you say? Yeah. Oh, I so you so you decide to take the derivative. Okay. Yeah. 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 We have to take the derivative of both the top and bottom at the same uh, separately. Uh, have you seen this before, Lapita's rule? It's really use. It's really useful. I, and I have. I, I've done. I've done La Hapital's rule. Okay. Yeah. Lapita's rule is. Uh, it, it looks like scary, but it's actually very easy and very useful. Yeah. Okay. So. It's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't make okay. That makes sense. Okay. Next question is forty Zero to infinity. So the required area should be between zero to infinity, yeah. e to the power of negative three x dx. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. We can call it limit. Yeah. 
B is going to infinity, 0 to B, B to the negative 3x, dx. All right? Fair, right? Yeah. Now, when we integrate it, it's always easy to integrate exponents, uh, e to the power of something, e to the negative 3x. The chain rule is negative 3 at the bottom. Mm. So we're looking at from b to 0. The limit is b going to infinity. Right? So when we put those in now, we get e to the negative 3b, mm -hmm. negative 3 minus negative 3 at the bottom, e to the negative 3 times 0. Okay. So all that, I have limit b to infinity. Is that clear? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay, what happens when it goes to infinity now? Two. Oh, okay, okay. So that first one becomes zero because it gets yeah. negative infinity. So that's just zero. Mm -hmm. The second one is just a minus minus plus plus one third. Yeah. Okay, so it's just one third. That's it. Okay. okay. So the area of the region, you know, between the x axis and the curve will be one third. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Next one is next. The next one is, wait, let me see, it's, it's, um, it's review exercises, so it's not the same, it's not 7.8, it's, the, the, the section, it's just like a few pages, it's like two, it's four pages ahead, it's five pages. Uh, okay, so right. is it 7.2? No, no. It's a, it's it, the t the title is review sections. Well, seven point eight review. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Seven, chapter chapter seven review. Okay, chapter seven review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then like I got. Uh, well, actually, I got how many questions here? I got seventy four questions here. How many do you got? Yeah, seventy four. So. Okay. Part. So it's the same. Okay. Which question should we do first? Okay. Uh, 59. Chapter 7, review. Number 59. Okay. Sine square, right? Yeah. We have sine square 2x times cosine cube 2x dx. All right. Uh, I'm going to convert some everything to the same thing. So. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to. Um, let me just convert everything to sine, so you can call it sine square two x. The other one is going to be sine square. Oh, sorry, plus, uh, not sine square yet. It's going to be cosine square 2x times cosine 2x dx, right? Right. So that means we can convert everything to sine now. Oh, somewhat. So you have sine square. 2x times sine uh, 1 minus sine squared 2x, because that's cosine, no? And cosine 2x, what are we going to do? We're going to use it for u sub. So I'll leave it like that, because I'm going to get rid of it in a minute, all right? Yeah. So, so what is cosine 2x? So u equals to cosine 2x. So, hold on, let me think, let me think. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I'm just going to make u is equal to sine 2x, much easier, sine 2x. So if I do du dx now, 
that equals to cosine two x. So we know that du is going to be cosine two x dx. We're going to use it right here, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I do that, my whole thing whole thing comes very easy. I have u square times. Okay, let me think about it. Oh, there should be two there, two. So I need to put a half outside, right? So I need to take a half out because I have to. I need a two, right? Yes. Yeah. So I have u yeah. square, one minus u square uh, times du, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One. And you have u square minus u to the four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I don't need that. Yeah, that's cool. Right? So when you integrate it, oh yeah, I need the du. Okay, uh, when you integrate it, it becomes one half u cube over three minus u to the five over five. Okay? That's the plus c, of course which turns mm -hmm. out to be u cube over 6 yeah. minus u to the 5 over 10 plus c. So if you replace the u cubes with all the signs, you have sine cube 2x over 6 minus 10 to the bottom, sine to the 5. 2x plus c. Okay? Alright. Wait, I have a question. How did you know to substitute, to use u substitution? How, say that again, sorry? How did you know to use that, to use the u substitution? How did I, how did I know that? Because yeah. when I saw something big like this and I saw that I have sine and cosine, I kind of knew that one is the derivative of the other. So yes. once we have, you know, so we know we can manipulate it like this, so we can get rid of both at the same time. Okay? All right. So if I use sine as u, I can get rid of the cosine, you know, and then get, get rid of the cosine dx, cosine 2x dx. Okay. Right. That's something you need to look for. Whenever you integrate, like when you have cosine and sine, you can you can make it work when you have like stick and square and ten x you know you can right. get you can get rid of one of those when you have cosecant and cotangent together you can get rid of one of those right okay for the next one it's, it's number sixty nine sixty nine. Okay. So, uh, uh, we have to use uh, U D V V D U that thing. Remember that? U V um, minus V D U. Yeah. We okay. don't have anything to get rid of something here. So we can do so I know, X. So what is du? Du is going to be 1 over 1 minus X square dx. And if you have V, dv, dx, so V is going to be X side. Okay. okay, minus yeah. 
Is that clear? Uh, wait. Wait, where does the you come in? Hmm? What is it? Wait, when does, where, where do we use the you? Why, why do we use you substitution? You have u, v, v. That's going to be u, v, minus v, d, u. Okay? Okay. Oh. Because you can bring it to this side and you can see that uh, they work because of uh, rule of, you know, derivative of multiplication. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's it. I, this stuff is going to be on the test. This is a good test question, actually. You know. So we need to know this formula. This this uh, theorem very well. Yeah. This one. You need to memorize this one completely and be able to use it. Yeah. Okay. So tired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here. Okay. Uh, so, you have, and then when you do that, you have, um, let's see, one half sine to the negative one, one over two, yeah. Because the other one becomes zero, so we don't care. How do we? Yeah, but it's just zero, so. Uh, yeah, okay. because the other one, so when you subtract it, it, it was just uh, zero times, you know? Sine to the negative one, zero, so we don't really care about that. The other part is, um, yeah. okay, minus integral of zero to one half, you have x over like that, okay? Okay. So that it's 30 degree, which is pi over 6, minus 0, minus, when you integrate that, we have, how do we do that? Oh man, you have to do that again like that. Uh, yeah, if you do U sub, okay? So let's say, let's call it T equals to one minus X squared. So DT is, DT DX is gonna be negative two X, okay? So T is one minus X squared, which means zero, it becomes one. And then you have minus x goes become three fourth. Okay? And you have x and one minus x squared is square root of t. And dx can be replaced by dt over negative two x. So x and x cancels, it's gone, it's gone, right? That's like one half, so y, sorry, it's pi over 12 for this, minus, actually, minus two comes to the front, that's plus one half. Okay, integral of t, uh, t to the negative half dt, one, two, yeah. three, four. I jumped a few steps, but I'm, I'm, I think you'll get it. You get it, right? Uh, all right. Should I, should I break it down further? I mean, no. the steps I jumped are, the first steps I jumped are common sense. It's just that. Uh, I mean, not common sense, but you, these are things you should be able to handle, I think. So what I did was I did U sub, and I plugged in those things, and I uh, I just canceled everything out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Should I break down any step? No. It's, okay. It's cool. fine. Uh, so let's move on. So when you integrate it, and then you have pi over 12 plus 1 over 2, t to the half divided by half, okay? This is going to be between 3 fourth over 1. So 
that transaction is half and half gone. It's pi over 12 plus, we do t to the, or t, t goes away, sorry. That should be 3, 4 to half. Yeah. Minus 3, 4 to the 1. 2, 3, 4 to half like this. It's equal to half minus 1. Well, I have the other way. 1, 2, oh, half. Okay, like this. Yeah. So, okay. When I do that, what do I have? I have. This is my silly mistake. I have to check. See, for square root of that, it's going to be square root of 3 over 2 minus 1. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that should be the answer. Oh, that should be a plus, right? My, my, my okay. Like this, yeah. So that's it. That should be the answer. It should be pi over 12 plus root 3 over 2 minus 1. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was a long one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, any confusion? Yeah. No, we can continue. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I mean, it's it's uh, you have to think through this. You know, that's the part. I guess you you I guess you get it easily when I did it, but you know, you may run into trouble when you you are doing it because you you don't even know. You know, a lot of times what to use. Yeah. Right. So you have to use the UDV thing first. Mm -hmm. Then you have to do again. You second time you have to do U substitution. I I just use T to T substitution. So yeah, so it worked out. Right. Okay. We okay. So next problem is third number thirty-seven. I mean seventy-three. U is equal to S plus one. D U D X is going to be two X. Okay, so D U over two X is going to be D X. So if I replace it, I have X at the top, a V square at the bottom. I have du at the top, 2x at the bottom, and my x and x cancel out, okay? x and x is gone. So, I also have a squared plus 1 here. Actually, I want to integrate it first, and I'll, I'll, I'll put this back mm -hmm. later. So, when I integrate, so this turns out to be u to the negative 2 du. So, that turns out to be u to the negative 1 divided by negative 1, okay? Plus c, okay? So I'm going to just put it back, put the x back now, so that turns out to be negative yeah. 1 over u, okay? Which I'm going to put all the x's back now. Negative 1 over 
x squared plus 1. So now I'm going to put it back there. So I had a negative 1 over x squared plus 1. This thing I'm trying to get it from infinity to a, right? Infinity to a. So it turns out to be negative 1 over infinity plus 1 plus 1 over a squared plus 1. So obviously this first one is just a 0. This one is 1 over a squared plus 1. I think this is much better. Let me see if I missed something. Oh, okay. there's a 2 there. There's a 2 there. Sorry, I missed a 2 here. Is this 2? I need to put it down. I need to save yeah. it, you know? You do 1, two, 1 over 2 for the whole thing. So that stays all the way to the end. Yeah? So we can just modify everything with 1 over 2. So that should be 1 over 2. So that turns out to be. Answer is 2, 1 up on top, 2 a squared plus 1. We have a question. So why can't we um do natural laws? Um, it's, I mean, why can't we do one half natural log x squared plus one squared? Oh wait, I don't know what it was. Because that's Actually, the never mind. That wouldn't work. Yeah. Never mind. What well, you did makes more sense. Never mind. Okay. Wait. Let me just wait. When is your test? You said or your parents said? I no, I I know why my idea is not work. Okay, now when is your exam? When is my exam? Yeah. It's it's the ninth. So. Uh, ninth. So it's on Thursday. Th yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Do you need more sessions before that? Uh. N yeah. Maybe. I think I'll, I'll contact you if I do. Okay, I'm almost full. Uh, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday. You need to let me know as soon as possible so I can move somebody and get you the time before your exam. Okay. okay? So just let me know as soon as possible. Um, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm tomorrow. I'm full from four to eleven. On Tuesday, I'm full from two to nine. So I only have nine p.m. open tomorrow night. Oh, sorry, Wednesday night before your exam. Everything else is uh, unless you do three three o'clock. Tuesday is open. And 9 o'clock on Wednesdays. But these are the only two slots open right now, but they'll probably fill up very soon. So if you need right. time, uh, let me know as soon as possible. I will. Thank you for your heads up. Sure. Uh, right. okay, what's the next question we should do? Next one is um, it's on a different page. So let me do it. Let me search for it. So for me, it's uh, section 9.4. Okay, 9.4 should be the same. Yeah. 9.4, question number? Question number three. Three. Okay, it's just like the uh, sigma of uh, what do you call the those? Yeah. This. That's question. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, chapter nine point four. Question number three. All right. So I have one over k to the p. Okay. That's a lot of material you're covering. This. Yeah. It starts at goes to infinity. So the series, uh, basically, have, um, you know that for the, for k the cube, k cube, k cube, k cube, right? One yeah. of our k cube, yeah. So, yeah. so you need to know this formula. I'm just writing oh. this formula down so you know, yeah, you know what to do. So when p is more than one, it it converges. Okay. If p is between one and zero. Okay, even if it's one, it's fine. It uh, diverges, okay? So that's yeah. something you should you should memorize. Okay, this this. Okay. It's not a oh, memorization. Yeah. You should do so many problems that you know, this becomes easy. We did learn this in math class. Okay, good. Okay, so we had the first one is k so, to one to infinity, one over k cube. So since three is greater than one, you can say it's converges, right? Yeah. Okay. For B. Oh, no, it's, less than, it's less than one, so it doesn't work. 
as it should be. 1 over k to the half, right? Oh, yeah. So, so 1 half is going to be less than 1, so it uh, diverges. And C. Okay? Yeah. For C, it's negative 1, which means it's 1 over k to the 1, okay? Remember, it's, it's equal to, it's less than, it, it gives yeah. to diverge. Okay? So, uh, 1 equals to 1, so it diverge. Oh, yeah. All right. So, for D, mm. I, I, I can write this as 1 over k to the 2 thirds, okay? Uh, so, when I do that, so as you can see, the two third is less than one, so it's yeah. Okay. All right. Twenty four fourteen. Then. Question question fourteen. You said. Yeah. Match yeah. a log, huh? Okay. Yeah. It's going to be 3 to infinity. Match a log of k over k. So, no idea. We have to do the integral test. Okay? What do you think? We have to use the integral test for this. Okay. So, uh, So, uh, yeah, we can say that, say it like this, okay? Right. If, uh, if integral of a to infinity, f of x, dx, if it's convergent, then you, this one will be convergent. And same thing, if, if it's divergent, then it is divergent, okay. right? So that's that's what integral test is all about, okay? So we have to look at the function first. Let's find the derivative of it. So what f of, uh, we know that f of x is going to be, so it is natural log of x mm -hmm. over x. So f prime of x is, you know, the derivative of that, so you, get the, you do the quotient rule, x squared at the bottom, so you have x times, the derivative is 1 over x minus natural log of x times 1. So that turns out to be 1 minus natural log of x divided by x squared. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we are really looking at the integration between 3 and infinity. And so, so x dx. 
So it's going to turn up to that X. Uh, let me think, let me think. Oh, I so, so. Uh, I see, I see, I see. So if you have measure like a fold. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do a use substitution here. Okay. So U oh, is no. equal to the natural log of x. Du dx equals to 1 over x. So when you do that, this whole thing turns out to be natural log of 3, natural log of infinity, which is just. Okay, we're going to do that natural log of. Uh, let's call it uh, t limit is going to infinity, and this one which turns out to be just uh, u du, okay? So when we integrate it, that turns out to be u squared over 2, and we have natural log of t over natural log of 3 with the limit u is going to infinity, All right? So, so in short, if you put all that in, you end up with um, natural log of t square divided by 2 minus natural log of 3 square over 2. Okay? Okay. So that goes to infinity. That's like a limit. No, it diverge. <laughs> it's so, so in, infinity. So that turns out to this first one is infinity. So it diverges. Okay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll, yeah, I'll send you the video in a few seconds, uh, in a few minutes, yeah. or maybe later, later tonight. Let me stop.